Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Cynthia Ortiz and today we're going to go over time to the hour analog. Before I get into the lesson, let's go ahead and review the vocabulary. Number one, we have hour. An hour is a unit of time. One hour equals 60 minutes. Number two, we have minute. A minute is a unit to measure time. One minute equals 60 seconds. Third, we have an analog clock. An analog clock is a clock with an hour hand and a minute hand. This is an analog clock. We have an hour hand and a minute hand. The hour hand is short, the minute hand is long. Number four, hour hand. The hour hand is the hand on a clock that tells the hour. It is the short hand. So as we said, the short hand is the hour hand. It points to the hour. Right now it is pointing at nine, so the hour is nine. Number five, minute hand. The minute hand is the hand on a clock that tells the minutes. It is the longer hand. So the minute hand is the longer hand. So 12 is our starting point. It is nine o'clock. And then we go 901, 902, 903, 904, 905, and so on. Each time it jumps to a big number, we count by fives. So if it was nine o'clock here, over here would be 905, 910, 915, 920, 925, 930, 935, 940, 945, 950, 955, and that's when a new hour would start. As you can see, as this moved around, my hour hand went to the next hour because 60 minutes is one hour. Number six, a clock. A clock is the beginning of the hour. So as we can see here, the hour hand is pointing to the nine, the minute hand is pointing to the 12. Remember, I said when the minute hand points to the 12, that is the starting point. We start the hour there. So right now it is nine o'clock. It's going to go around all the way. Now it's 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock and so on. Okay, let's go ahead and look at some examples of time. We will look at our analog clock to see what time it is. First, we will look at the hour, that's the short hand, and then we will look at the minute hand, that's the long hand. Remember, when the minute hand is pointing to 12, we say the hour and then a clock, okay? When the minute hand points to the 12, it is a clock. So let's go ahead and look at this first example. It is one o'clock. One o'clock. Very good. Okay, so what time is it here? The hour hand is pointing to the four and the minute hand is pointing to the 12. So it is four o'clock. Four o'clock. Very good. For this example, we have the hour hand pointing at the seven and the minute hand pointing at the 12. So it is seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, very good. Here we have the hour hand pointing at the 10 and the minute hand pointing at the 12. So it is 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, very good. Okay, so for this example, we're going to do something a little different. Instead of me writing the answer on the whiteboard, I want you to comment down below what time it is. What is the time that I am displaying here on my analog clock? Go ahead and comment down below. All right, guys, that is today's lesson on time to the hour analog. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and working with our analog clock. Please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more learning videos. Bye, guys.